Hello everyone. Today we are back at the old schoolhouse. We are going to take you guys inside. We're going to school. Yuck. Who liked school? Because I didn't like school. So we are going to take you in. It's a 45 minute lesson I think. I'm here with Rebecca's Realm and I'm going to record the first half. She's going to record the second half. So make sure you go over and subscribe to her and check out the second half of this video. But we are fixing to go into school. So, yeah. you ready to go to school? Yeah. Yuck. Not really. Alright, let's go. <coughs> okay, guys. Me and Rebecca was talking about we should buy one of these blocks. I think they're like 50 bucks. But maybe they're not going to put any more down. Um, we could put our, our channel on it. Alright, let's go to school. A cow hunter. Yeah, we do a, a special program for, uh, well, we'll do it for anyone, but you usually have to schedule that one earlier, but it uh, was designed for the school children, and we tell them about the early history and how the cow hunter came to be. Oh, okay. A cow hunter. And then we do a, a, a program, uh, another one, um, about the uh, Indians in Florida. We heard a lot about the Indians over there last week. Uh huh. Yeah, we didn't know the Indians had slaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, no clue. that's, I mean, crazy. I never knew that, that the Indians had slaves. We learned so much. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? You didn't know the Indians had slaves? Next door, the tour. Indians had slaves. Yeah, we had no clue. Look at the little flags. I guess all this stuff is for sale. Yeah. Is it all for sale? Mm -hmm. Look at the dolls. Like these don't have a face. Somebody homemade them. That's pretty neat, though. That's really neat. She's only $10. She looks like she could got broomstick and could fly away. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the um, the bell on the front as we came in, uh -huh. uh, it was the original bell that was um, in the first high school oh, wow. here in Hernando County back okay. in, um, well, the cast mark on it says 1886. Oh, wow. And uh, so... Um, it was in storage in the uh, in the big museum up here, and uh, so whenever they built this, uh, we asked if we could put that bell up. That's it has awesome. A little, it has a little bit of history. It was um, on two schools that burned, oh, wow. and so they finally. Um, Put it in storage, and then whenever they built uh, the school over on Spring Lake Highway, are you from the area here? Yeah. Um, Spring Hill, but I just moved here in September. Uh, well, Spring Lake Highway, which is on uh, the east side of the county, um, a lot of um, uh, at one time mining, but there was communities over there. <clears throat> and anyway, they built a school over there two-story school, put that bell in that school, and that school sank some, what, it was built on Lime Rock, uh, and so... It sank like a sinkhole? No, not like a sinkhole, it just started... Oh, started to oh, it's yeah. okay. So they took the... They took the, oh. the top story off. Oh, okay. These are neat. These are games from the 1800s? Yes, yes. This is neat. Such amazing things, you know. It was so simple back then. Compared to nowadays, mm -hmm. these kids nowadays want something that's $200. Back then it was simple, which those were probably expensive back then. Yes. Or homemade, maybe. The dolls are pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it's like Look this right this. here is a, a, a Jacob's ladder, and it's. it's I was wondering someone, what that was. Someone made. I mean, this one's not store bought. You can tell because the that is Hemington. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, 
<laughs> yeah, that's cool. So is this the same thing, Jacob's Life? That's a, that's a one that they oh, bought in the store. Yeah. Okay. okay. This here would have been fun. Play the drums. Or is it drums? Yeah, it is drums. Yeah. It's not wow. I mean, I played with a ball of yarn. <laughs> no. So, um, yo yo's have been around for a long time. Yes. They've been around since the 1800s? Yes. Wow. Yo yo's are fun. People still do yes. stuff with yo yo's and pick up sticks. I used to play with them when I was a kid. <laughs> That's crazy. And jacks. I never understood how to do jacks. Oh, I just no. bounced the ball and grabbed a jack. Is that what you did? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you, you bounce the ball and you pick up one jack, and then you go through all those, and then you bounce the ball and you pick up two jacks. You have to bounce the ball, pick up the jack, put it in your other hand, and catch the ball. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, so are we going to learn a history lesson? Well, uh, <clears throat> You were talking about um, the schoolhouse. The school. This schoolhouse. Can I film a, you? If you want. Okay. It's I, a replica of um, the schoolhouse. Oh, that, yeah, that's that what was we, built by um, wow. Mr. Likes. I can't think of oh, his first name. Oh, Mr. Likes. And is he buried out there on Fort Dade on the yes, white yes, side? Yes. 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 I've been yes. out to his grave. Yes. Yes. So, um, and he had the schoolhouse built out there for his children and his workers' children because he was a big um, cattle baron. And so he had a school teacher brought from South Carolina. Oh, Usually wow. the school teachers were women or girls. Yes. Um, but he had a t uh, educator brought from South Carolina, Kugler, Samuel Kugler, I believe was his name. And um, Mr. Kugler went on to become the superintendent of education here in Hernando County back in the late 1800s. But anyway, back to the schoolhouse. So this is what they... So you guys did a good job with the replica then. They did the replica. Yes. But even though it's a replica, it looks like it back then... Uh, the air conditioning, there was none. There probably was not lights. Yeah, not probably fans. not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The floor, um, it might have been a wooden floor or mm -hmm. it possibly could have even just been a dirt floor. Depending. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, so, of course, ours, we have to be by code, so um, there are none of the East School houses left because the weather, the bugs have oh, taken yeah. them all down. Yeah. yeah. And our schoolhouse is, uh, it looks like wood, but it's really not. Mm -hmm. It's uh, some manufactured siding yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, so the the chair rail that we have that goes around and the cabinet in the front and this bookcase are all made from a chinaberry tree that sat here where they had to cut it down oh, wow. to build the schoolhouse. So in, instead of just throwing That's it That's really cool. They used it. So they, it must have been a big tree. Yeah. And, and used it. Wow. And it's a chinaberry and a, I, I don't know if you know what a chinaberry tree is. No. Well, it's not indigenous to this area. And it's a weed type tree. Really? And um, it is kin to the mahogany, nut, though. So we, we used it. Oh, wow. The floors are the white pine. Now, the one room schoolhouse back in the day um, would be for all ages. They would ring the bell around eight o'clock to let uh, the community know that school is about to begin. You need to get to your chores done and get to school as quickly as you can. So um, generally back then they would have the boys to sit on one side, the girls to sit on the other, and then they would be the big kids in the back coming up, uh, working their way up front. 
Uh, they taught reading, writing, arithmetic. Everything was based on religion, morals, and so. Uh, the books that were used back then were uh, the McGuffey Reader. Oh, so you have some of the books. Yes. So, um, oh wow, um, so these are 1800 books, yes. Original, I think the original copyright was 1859. Wow, yes. Now, I, I'm not, I don't think that these books are by any means that old, but yeah, yes. So, would, that's what they taught them out, out of, out of, wow, yes. okay. And it, uh, they would learn their, um, their ABCs. Uh, they learn how to um, how to write. Uh, now, <clears throat> they were not grade levels. I was wondering about that because the big kids, little kids, everybody's in the class together. Right. So the way I mean, it was a big management job for the teacher, but um, <clears throat> the children would come to school and they would have their reading book and if if they had to be out their place was marked in the book so when they came back to school um they would pick up where they the left place. off so a, a lot i mean the um average student only made it through um the third reader wow and so um, it would be most likely the girls that would get this far and farther because the boys so often had, had to, to go to work, right? Right. Wow. So uh, the um, the um, I don't want to say infant mortality, but the the. Uh, mortality back then was greater than it is now, so a lot of kids um, did not make it wow. through. That's yeah. sad. Yeah. Yeah, even the girls had to work so hard back then. Yes. Yeah. So they learned reading, they learned writing. Writing was very important. Uh, a man was considered to be an intelligent man, not likely to be tricked if he could write his name. It was real important for them in signing contracts to be able to write their name. So was that the most important thing for the boys, was to be able to write their name? Uh, probably more so, to, yes, because they, uh, the women generally did not take care of business. Right. So. Yes. Wow. That's and amazing. then um, the math that they learned back then was um, just learning their facts, making sure that they know, knew um, um, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Mm -hmm. They did not teach them the higher levels of math in the one room school. Wow. You were smart enough for that, then you got to go to town. So they didn't do grades one through, you just learned what they could teach you and that was it. Right. And a, a lot of times the younger or the the younger children were assisted by the older children. Right. I watched Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> right. So that's how I knew some of, you know, they were, they had to work so hard. Yes. It's crazy how hard the women and the men, well, the men always worked hard, but those women, they worked really hard. And maybe that's, is that, you think that's why they died so young? Well, that and, um. It was not good doctors or uh, not doctors well, around. They, they didn't have the medicines. They, yeah. They, they, mainly wow. uh, relied on what they could find in nature mm -hmm. to help them get through whatever. So, uh, and taking a look at the uh, school rules, 
Um, yeah, I was looking at that. Yes, and notice that you've got cleanliness is next to godliness because they didn't really have um, anything more than soap and water. Yeah. I soaked at that yeah. to keep them clean. The, the, whenever we have the young, whenever we have the school children in here, we tell them about, um, well, do you see um, a water fountain anywhere in here? No. No, if you wanted to drink of water, you oh. and everyone else would have. Do the same thing? Yeah. This My was guys it. were sitting at the this desk. Was your, this was your drink of water. I'm going to die. So, and then, um, I don't know, but most likely, as far as washing hands, it would be sort of kind of like it was at my grandmother's house. There'd be a pan of water, and that's where you went and you washed your hands. So you dipped, you dipped, you dipped your hands in there, and everybody else's hands was all in there. Oh, yeah. So everybody, yeah, yeah. So, um, um, and then discipline. Um, that during the early times you want me to be the would have been <laughs> that would be me. The oh. uh, hickory stick. This is a hickory stick. Oh, um, and then um, something that I learned. So they would have spanked the kids. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. um, for less than the children are spanked for. Nowadays. Oh, yeah. I had to go pick my own switch when I was a young kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if I didn't pick a big enough switch, boy, I got switched harder because I had to go back and get a bigger switch. Yep. And you didn't want your mother to have to go to work. Um, so, back during the day, they used shame boards for a discipline. So, if you were... Um, not doing your work, you might have to wear um, one of these boards. Um, and you would wear it all day long because it was very important that you not embarrass your family. And it was an important, uh, as you can see on the classroom rules, the uh, idle hands, well, idleness is sinful. Uh, somewhere it talks about hands. Busy hands make it the quiet mouth. Like quiet mouth. So you need to be doing your work. Do what you were told to do. Uh, another one of the shine boards um, is fight finger baby. So it's wrong if you sit there with your fingers in the mouth because again, you may have an infection and you're coming and you're getting a drink of water, or you're going to wash your hands, um, and so you're going to spread disease. Then there would be the tongue, wa uh, tongue wagger, and this is the one that just gets everybody. The nose picker. The nose picker. <laughs> so, but then, so they would wear these all day, and hopefully, uh, when they came back tomorrow, uh, that would be taken care of. Um, and then, of course, there's the dunce. And, of course, there would be the circle on the, wall, on the board. You stick your, your nose in it. You stand there um, like that. But the um, whole thing with the discipline was that you come to school, you do what you are supposed to do, you learn all that you can, and you do not embarrass your family. So, um, oh, I skipped right over the uh, flag. Um, we do our program um, pretending that this is uh, 1892. Well, in 1892, there were only uh, 
44 stars oh, wow. on the flag because we had 44 states in the United States. So what states wasn't here? I'm lost. I don't I, know my history. I don't know. I know that uh, Hawaii and Alaska, Alaska were not in, added until the okay. 1950s. Mm -hmm. uh, and is there 52 stars on the map? 50. 50? Oh, okay. So those are the two states. No, 44. There's oh, 44. 44. I got gotcha. you. Okay. But I, I can't. That's a good question, but I don't know the answer to it. Okay. Um, anyway, um, Francis Bellamy was the writer of the first, um, uh, of oh, the let me, pledge. Let me ask something. Oh, go ahead. You're talking about the pledge because yes. God's not in there. Right. So the first pledge, um, was, um, I pledge allegiance to my flag and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So then in 1924, um, the American Legion and the Daughters of the American Revolution had it changed to a pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And then in 1953, uh, with the urgent, uh, with uh, the Knights of Columbus urging the president and the president at that time was Eisenhower, that's whenever they changed it to what we have today. And um, also the salute to the, to the flag in um, 1892 was the right arm out with the palm up cupped like this and that went on until um, the 40s, 1940s. So what, you had to salute the flag? Yes, this okay. was the salute. Oh, wow. Salute the flag, I didn't know and that. And then uh, that looked too much like what Hitler had done oh. and that's whenever they changed it to the hand. Oh, so when the they, heart. so in 1800s when they said the pledge, they, they went like this? Yes. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Are you filming all this? What happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, that's the story on the wow. pledge at that time. So yeah, but you would have thought that back in the 1800s, they would have had God in it, because wasn't God in it almost everybody's life? Well, um, most of the school was based on God, because the McGuffey readers, um, McGuffey was a, um, a minister who wrote the stories for his children. Mm -hmm. And so most of the, everything was based on the religion. Right. So really they say uh, four R's, being, reading, writing, arithmetic, and religion. Wow. So, yeah. Hmm. So, so they did their work right here on these um, these chalkboards. So well, some uh, learned to read well, and write. That is interesting, also, because um, um, as it started out with the schoolhouses, of course, you would not have had school. all of this stuff in here. And in the old schoolhouses, they would uh, write on the walls would be dark, so they would write on. The walls. the walls. Oh wow! And then the um, in the summertime, or whenever, when the men came to do upkeep, they would have to clean the walls. So that was the beginning of 
the use of uh, the boards. Now, some of our boards are black boards. And you, um, this is not a black board. This is a black board. Okay. Okay. Most likely what came first would have been this, which would be a slate. Oh, okay. Because so that's a slate. Slate is slate. Oh, yeah. Slate is from nature. I mean, the big rocks. And so they could um, slice that off and get that. Um, wow. We had a second grade group in here last week. And, and one way that you can tell which one is slate and which one is a blackboard without picking them up is to touch them. It's cold. cold. Yeah. The blackboard is not. Now, uh, our board here is a blackboard, and it is painted on the wall. Okay. So, and yes, they would uh, write on that. They would not necessarily have chalk like this, but they would have uh, a rock from the yard uh, here in Florida. It would be a piece of limestone. And they could write with that. And that didn't ruin the boards? No. Oh, okay. No. And um, as we've done, they'd have a, a cloth that they, could, that they could clean it with. And from this kind of using, using the boards, they then would go to uh, the inkwell and so ink would go in here and I learned the other Oh, it fit right down in there. Yeah. Wonder what the hole's for. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh. They use those feather pens kind of thing. Yes, they could use the feather pen and here's another ink well. Uh, it, it, this one won't fit. I mean, it will go on and through. Um, but they could use the feather and then it went on to having a, a ink pen like this and then I even remember writing with the ink pens where we filled, we had a jar of ink and we had, we could fill, refill mm -hmm. the pen. You would have to keep dipping, right? Yes. Like almost every word? Almost. Well, um, mm. No, it would not. It would not do but a letter or two. Oh wow! So you have to do a lot. It's a lot of work. A lot. Wow. It was not easy. Wonder who invented ink pens. Madeline. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had invented ink pens. Um. I can't think what else I need to tell you. Lunch buddy. The lunch bucket. Well, do you think do you think that they would have have had a bucket like this? I don't know. I think so. Maybe some may. Looks like an ice not. bucket. Um, it could have been a or, or we used to have little tin buckets. Of course, it was not in 1892, but whenever I was a little girl, we had uh, syrup buckets. And it looked like a paint can. Oh, wow. so but that's anyway, their lunch. So, with the lunch bucket, would they come with a paper towel or a cloth towel? A cloth, a cloth probably. Cloth probably, and it probably yeah it probably would have just been a scrap from um, from the uh, something that. They no longer used as, well, that would have been the workers. That probably would not be Mr. Likes. They might have had the fancy ones, but. And, um, um, could they have had an apple in their lunch? Yeah. Not in Florida. No? Not in Florida? Not in Florida. Oh, because it'll go bad? Oh, um, they were not grown here. Oh, yeah. But they are now, right? Um, I don't 
or apple, apple trees. I think it's more oranges. Oranges and uh, yeah. lemons. Okay. So yes, citrus fruit would have been here. Okay. Now, um, um, in the book A Land Remembered uh, by Patrick Smith, he talks about um, the family taking their cattle to the market and the market was uh, they would drive them over to the Clearwater area somewhere and they would get on the boats and they would take them back out to uh, Cuba. Well, anyway, those boats would bring a load of supplies in and a lot of times they would be able to get a basket and they would buy a basket of apples, but by the time they got back to central Florida, uh, they had either eaten all of their apples or their al apples had spoiled. Yeah. So. so back in the 1800s, they went to the market? Uh, well, when I said the market, it would be them taking their um, goods, cattle, and taking it to uh, the shipping area over on the coast. Okay. Um, um, they would have, I don't know where they would have, I'm sure that they had somewhere that they could go, a, a small gathering of supplies, but um, I, I'm really not sure on that. Mm -hmm. Well, they got their milk. They had to milk their own cows, right? Right. Or and can you? They had you can have their livestock and their poultry. Um, a lot of the um, Indian program that we do, uh, we talk about how they relied upon the Indians for survival here. Um, could the children have had a sandwich in school? Hmm. Yes, the homemade bread, have. yeah. Yeah, they could have. It wouldn't have looked like this, fortunately. Uh, but they could have. They could have had. Um, um, they probably. This is supposed to represent sliced bread with uh, jelly or something in mm -hmm. it. So no, there would not have been sliced bread. Uh, I've been homemade bread. Homemade. Uh, if this is supposed to represent a biscuit or a piece of corn home. No, they probably could have had that. They could have had that. And they could have had a potato. Oh, okay. A raw yeah. potato? Um, well, it depends. Yeah, it, it could have been. Mm-hmm, yeah. I've eaten raw potatoes. Yeah, me too. Um, but um, one of the jobs of the teacher would be in the morning, if it was a cold day, to come in and have fire going. Now, so they would have the stove going and they could put their potato oh, yeah. there. If they wanted their lunch warm, mm -hmm. they could put it. Put now, it is that old? Stove. Okay, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed that schoolhouse. I learned a lot of information there. Now this video is going to be cut, so the pieces you don't, you miss out of mine, you need to go to Rebecca, Rebecca's room, and um, see the the second half of the video. Um, I'm going to post some highlights, or I did post some highlights in this video, so be sure to go check out Rebecca. Tell her I sent you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell. All right, guys. And tonight, we are going out to a cemetery to make you guys a very creepy video. I'm taking her out at nighttime to a cemetery. Ooh. Is this your first? Oh, yeah. First time Ooh. in nighttime. Her first nighttime cemetery. So, that video will be coming out soon. All right, guys. Bye.